It's always a nice thing when expectation meets reality. And that's exactly what the case is right now with the Ravens announcing that they've exercised Lamar Jackson's fifth year option. Because we heard John Harbaugh the other day on the Rich Eisen show talk about how, hey, we guarantee that it's going down. We guarantee that it's going to happen. We guarantee that we will be exercising Lamar Jackson's fifth year option. And we heard that and we waited. I mean, we figured it was going to happen, but since we hadn't heard anything, it got you to thinking. Like, hmm, what if? What's going on? What are the possibilities? Could they be really trying to exhaust all options to where they try to work out a long-term contract with Lamar Jackson before they even get to that fifth-year option? Could they be doing that? It's a possibility. Or for the people that are more on the wild side and the not make any sense at all side, the Bucky Brooks words could have really been, they could have infiltrated your mind and really had you thinking some wild stuff like that that doesn't make any sense for the Baltimore Ravens. Bucky, we ain't forget. We sure ain't forget. And maybe I think the Ravens might have done this because I did see uh, one NFL expert have them, <laughs> have them taking a quarterback in the second round of the NFL draft. Like, I, I I can't do it. Anyway, um, so Lamar Jackson will officially be a Baltimore Raven, not only this year, but next year as well. And this was the expectation all along. Even though they talked about they were going to be in contract talks with Lamar Jackson this year, even though Eric DaCosta came out and said it, Harbaugh talked on it, and, and there's been the, uh, the back and forth on it, um, I never expected them to come to a contract agreement, a contract extension with Lamar Jackson this year. Now... It, if they did come to an agreement with him earlier, it would be better for the Ravens because every year that passes, every day that passes, every game that goes by, his price goes up. It goes up and it goes up and it goes up. Shout out to Cardi B, even though I don't like that song. I like the beat. I don't like the song, though. But anyway, that's what his price is going to keep doing. Every game that passes, his price just is going to keep shooting through the roof because his value to these Baltimore Ravens, it will just continue to increase. So if you think in like long term, it would be wiser for the Ravens to sign Lamar Jackson for the long haul. But it's just the contract is very, very complicated. It's very, very complicated. Like, what they, really, what they really should do, I mean, you know they're not going to do it, but what they really should do, write Lamar Jackson a blank check. Straight, give that man a blank check for everything that he has done for your team. He has gotten you so much business. He has just, the, and, and the, the winning comes secondary after that. I mean, for us as fans, we want winning first, but for them as businessmen, they want that bread first. And Lamar Jackson has brought you that. He brought you both. You need to write that man a blank check and say, Lamar, whatever you want, it's all yours. Um, but this is part of the investing in Lamar Jackson, uh, investing in him monetarily with the money. Um, and Rashad Bateman last night, that was part of investing in him and investing in his weapons. So this is something that the Ravens need to absolutely continue to do. Uh, and continue to show that Lamar is truly their guy. Because we all know. We all know that Lamar is their guy. For sure. Uh, but Ravens need to let it be known. And this is one of the ways that they could definitely uh, let it be known. Now, we had a very interesting question uh, from my guy, Nick Brick. Shout out to the patrons. My guy, Nick Brick, is a patron. And I'm uh, speaking of Bucky Brooks. He said, do you feel like Bucky Brooks played himself? And I mean, we could be done right there. Yes. Yes. And Bucky Brooks, I do. You got to respect him for sticking with his guns and being like, no, I ain't backing down from my word, buddy. Well, actually, I ain't backing down from my word, Bucky. And he didn't back down. He stuck with what he said. But he should have threw that take in the trash a long time ago. Anyway, he said his comments on the Ravens graduating their quarterback was a good idea. But as you said, it didn't apply to Lamar Jackson at all. It's true. It didn't. It does not. Again, it makes sense from a financial standpoint when you just have any old quarterback behind center. If you're winning games in spite of your quarterback, okay, it makes sense. Why pay him if you're winning games in spite of him? But if you're winning games because of your quarterback, it doesn't make any sense, especially the impact that Lamar Jackson has on his team. 
Anyway, he said, did it apply to Mitch Trubisky? And that's exactly what the Bear the Bears did with Justin Fields? Well, yeah, obviously. Because Mitch Trubisky, <laughs> he appeared to not be that guy for the Chicago Bears. And they let him go. And now he's a backup quarterback. That's one thing that really surprised me with Mitch Trubisky. He ain't even wait. He didn't even wait for a starting job. There were still starting jobs out there when he signed with the Bills, but he didn't even wait. It was like, man, this, I guess he knew he was a backup, and that was that. He said, Bucky Brooks could have looked like a draft genius if he had directed his energy toward a team that actually could have used this model, but instead, uh, the irrational hate for Lamar took over, and I personally will trust very little of what he says going forward. No disrespect, but he's just lost credibility in my eyes. Oof. Some powerful words right there. But you can understand exactly where my guy Nick is coming from. Because with what Bucky Brooks said, again, it, it, it never applied to the Ravens with Lamar Jackson. It didn't. But the Bears are a, a good, a, kind of a good example of it. Because, but the Bears, they haven't been winning, though. That's the thing. They haven't been winning. So, I mean, yeah, you're not going to pay Mitch Trubisky just because he's a quarterback. You only want to pay somebody because they're the quarterback for you. Mitch Trubisky clearly wasn't that. Insert Justin Fields. Bears are running it back. But, again, Bears haven't been having much success. The Ravens have. So, and I think sometimes people just insert Lamar Jackson's name just so they can get a little buzz. I told you, I really do think he's still got an album coming out. Somebody asked, maybe he got a book coming out of something, something where he just, he wants eyes on him. So he just put something out there. And, and it's crazy because even a lot of media people even got on him. They were like, are you crazy? So even when Marcellus Wiley, and I mean, he got Lamar Jackson's back. You already know, because he be getting into it with Acho all the time. But even Colin Coward, even Colin Coward came out there and, and was getting on Bucky Brooks. I was like, whoa, even him. Whew. But anyway, we're just happy that uh, Lamar Jackson, this, this is another step closer to him being a Raven for the long term, man. Another step closer. And we, we just got to make sure that Lamar Jackson, as, as much as uh, positivity that he brings to the Ravens and just as, as much uh, attention that he brings to the Ravens and positive attention, um, <laughs> it's going to be some people that just, uh, they don't get it and they won't appreciate it. Uh, and they will just try to find any little negative thing, uh, to say they will try to, no, not even that, but they will try to put a negative spin on everything that Lamar Jackson does. So you already know what time it is. And again, some things will just never be good enough. Team keep it clean. Know that y'all are good enough. Know that y'all are actually better than good enough. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all, and this actually, shout out to that fan who did not know who Lamar Jackson was. Uh, he even called out, he's like, man, the Ravens, yeah, they got that good defense, and they got Lamar Jackson, and he was talking to Lamar Jackson right in his face, and they didn't even realize, man, but he's like, oh, I knew it was you, I knew it was you, I knew somebody, I knew it, yeah, okay, uh, but anyway, man, y'all stay up, keep your heads up, uh, we got a video talking about Jason Away coming out later on, uh, so y'all stay tuned for that, and just have a great day, man. This is great news. And like Lamar Jackson won't be when it comes to the Baltimore Ravens. No time soon. And y'all Ravens, I'm telling y'all, y'all better not play with me. Y'all better not play. Lamar Jackson ain't going nowhere. Y'all will find each and every way possible to get the deal done when the time comes. I know it's not going to be this year. But when the time comes, y'all going to figure this thing out. Because Lamar Jackson will not be out.